Hi everybody, I'm Timmy the Tiger from Tiger News. I'm here because I've heard big things have gone on. This pool here has been here and the sick people stay here until an angel touches it. And then they try to get healed, but I've heard some big, who are you? Hey, I'm Lady Adirol. Lady Adirol? Who are you? I'm Timmy the Tiger, reporter for Tiger News. Oh, nice to meet you, Timmy. Nice to meet you too. I, what are you doing here? I'm looking for witnesses. Oh. Uh, Check. Look. Oh, oh, look at that. Who are you? A donkey. A donkey? Well, thank you. Hey, <laughs> donkey. Donkey, uh, I'm here for Tiger News. And uh, I heard some, something went down here at the pool. Yes, uh, yes, they're dead. Well, can you, can you tell me so I can report it? Well, uh, as you can see at the pool, uh, there are many sick people that hang around. And uh, there's one that I know, uh, his name's Fred or Joe or something, I don't know well. And, uh, but he's been here 38 years. 38 years? That's wow. a lot. I'm gonna have to write that down. Over here, over here, Timmy. Thank you. Thank you're, you welcome. Welcome. you're welcome. I'm glad to be able to assist you. Well, let me get back to the story here. What, so what happened? Well, he was waiting and a man came up. Uh, a man? Yes, he just came up and asked him a question. What question did he ask? He said, do you want to be healed? Wow. Wow. What an interesting question. He's been there 38 years. Why would he ask that? I don't know, but then he said, uh, the man said, well, I've been here 38 years and uh, when the water stirs, uh, there's nobody helping in the water. Oh, well, that's very, very challenging, isn't it? to be waiting 38 years and there's nobody there to help you in the water? I thought so. Sheesh. I thought so, but then an amazing thing happened. What, tell me? Uh, he told the man, do you want to be healed? Oh, that's a pretty big question, isn't it? I, I thought so too. Wow. And then he said to the man, get up and take your your bed or your pallet and walk. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, are you getting that, Timmy? I'm trying my best. It's hard for a tiger to win. <laughs> well, you're doing a great job. Well, then, then Donkey, what happened? Well, the, the man got his bed, he stood up and he walked. Amazing. That's incredible. Well, people aren't gonna believe this. I know, I know. You write it down fast, fast, fast while it's fresh in your mind. Wow. Well, Boy, it's good that you are an eyewitness. What is your name? Uh, donkey. Donkey, it's really, really wonderful that you're giving us a first-hand account of the situation. Thank you. Surely. Thank you, lady. I, you know, I, I, I've been living here for a while, uh, but not 38 years. That's a long time. It, it truly is. So what happened next? When he stood up with his bed and he started walking, these these rulers came up and said, why are you walking? Don't you know it's the Sabbath? You're supposed to rest. You can't pick up your bed and walk on the Sabbath. Well, that's a crazy thing to say. I thought so. Well, what did the man say? The man that got better, what did he say? He said, well, the man who told me to stand up and walk, he just told me to stand up and walk. Wow. Hey. What did they ask? Well, they asked, who is this man? And uh, the man didn't know his name. Oh my goodness. Do you remember what he looked like? Yes. Uh, see that picture over there? Oh, over there? yeah. He looked, he looked like that. Well, you know who that is? Who? That's Jesus. What? Yes. Yes, that is Jesus. So Jesus was the one who healed him. Oh my goodness, well, it's that's, interesting. that's who that is, that's Jesus. It's interesting you say that lady, I do know, because I heard later the man who was healed went to the temple and there he ran into this Jesus and Jesus said, you're better, don't sit anymore. And the man went away and told everybody it was Jesus that healed him. 
Here you go, Timmy. Here you go. I know you're so excited. It's hard to write all this information down. Yeah, you gotta get it down, Timmy. They're gonna read it ready two thousand years from now. <laughs> They're gonna be flabbergasted when they read this kind of a story. So, so what do we, what do we make of all this? Well, I've been thinking. It's kind of like my friends, the donkeys. Sometimes we. We sit around the house yeah, uh -huh. and we think, oh, we can't do anything because there's nobody to help me. And then, and like then what? Jesus said, maybe we should just get up and do it. Like wow. if we're feeling down, maybe we should just get up and follow. And maybe we start feeling better. I Ooh. think you're right. That's you know, you have a relative Eeyore who's always feeling a little down, Donkey, and I think you should share that information with him. You just get up and just do things, and you'll start feeling better. Well, I know Eeyore. Do you? He is kind of that way. Yeah, he is. He talks slow, too. Slow. He, it's so true. I think you would be really wise to give him that excellent advice. So, you know, I was wondering, you know, Today's Mother's Day. That's really wonderful that you know that. It is Mother's Day, Donkey. And I was thinking, are there anything special we could do for our mothers based on this story? Well, yes, because you can get up and do something. Even though we're in a strange time right now, Donkey, and, and Timmy the Tiger, write this down, Timmy. We're in something called a pandemic and we aren't able to do all the things that we normally would like to do on Mother's Day. But that doesn't stop us from giving our mothers big hugs and lots of kisses and doing things that we could just easily do for them. Like maybe even sing them a little song, like maybe even get your other donkey brothers and sisters together and maybe perform a little concerto, for I example. Know a song. You know a song, please demonstrate it for us. Could you sing us a little ditty? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Wow. Do you think my mom would like that? She would love it. You have quite a lovely voice, Donkey. Thank you. And I, and I could feel the love coming forth from your heart when you were singing that. So who is the greatest mother ever? The greatest mother is the mother of that man there jesus. jesus and that's jesus the Fel, that's right the felt is right behind us there and she is our role model for all mothers she is the person that we want to follow and and uh emulate and of course love and honor in all the ways i'm trying to get this all down i know i know I know, Timmy. Did you put it's, my paper yeah. Oh, sorry. Here, come here, come over here. <laughs> so let's try that so again. The mother wait, wait. of all mothers. Yeah, the mother of all mothers is the mother of Jesus. Would she like my song? She would love your song. I'm sure she is smiling as she's listening to your song you right now. That's it. That's it. There you go. There you go. Shy. That's right, Donkey. See, the Theotokos is probably so happy that you're thinking about your own mother this way. Are you a mother too? I am a mother. I am a mother. And I'm just so happy to share with my own children in whatever way we can we can celebrate. Okay, Donkey? Thank you, Heidi Doe. Th Thank hey, you, Heidi Doe, for helping people find your hey, point. Hey. Hey guys, hold on. What? I'd like to thank you both, and I'd like to thank you too there, uh, Donkey. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, and we wish you lots of love and happiness and a wonderful, wonderful day with your children and the grandmothers and the aunts and the siblings and the godparents, the godmothers, all of them. And I learned some great, you know, hanging around here, there's some Greek visitors sometimes. There are, you're right. What kind of Greek do you know? Christosa Nesti. Alisosa Nesti, Donkey. I am so impressed. Are you writing that down, Timmy? Put that in your report, would you? Christosa Nesti, Alisosa Nesti. Bravo. Thank you. Bravo. Well, it was a pleasure working with the two of you and I hope that we have an opportunity to meet again sometime. I look forward to it. Alithosa Nesti. Ta-ta and Dio. Alithosa Nesti. That's, you know, 
Ali saw some nasty. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go now and talk to my donkeys. Yeah, go ahead. Talk to your donkeys. Come up with a good concerto for your mom. Thank, that's a big word, concerto. Yeah, it is a big word. All right, donkey. Okay. See you later. Tata. Adeo, Adeo, everybody. Afganisto. Afganisto. Parakalo. He was a good witness, don't you think? He was an excellent eyewitness. I don't think you could have gotten a better eyewitness, Tiger. Yeah, do you subscribe to Tiger News yet? I don't, but I think I'm going to ask for a subscription. I'm going to put my name down there, okay? Because okay. I'm really looking forward to reading about this particular story. Okay. And don't forget do what I said about your mother, okay, Tiger? Thank you. All right, thank you. Happy Mother's Day, everybody.